Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be how I got my hair from faded blue with box dye roots to this colour, which you can't yet see because this is the intro and it's going to be in black and white. This whole process was pretty complex and that's because there were different sections of my hair that were in different stages, therefore needing different treatments and processes in order to get the end result. The three main sections of my hair were my grown out roots, I had about one inch or one inch, maybe half an inch of regrowth where my hair was coming through and that included uh, a lot of my premature grey hairs. The second section was about two inches of brown box dye that I had done to give myself a dark root. I think it was maybe end of January. I think it was about two months. So two months of regrowth, about two inches of brown box dye, and then I had faded blue ends where I'd had highlights and then semi-permanent blue had gone over those highlights. The blue was pretty faded, but it wasn't faded enough that I would be able to put red dye over it and get the end result I wanted. So the next thing I need to say is that I am not a professional hairdresser. This was just done because I wanted to do it. It's not because I actually knew necessarily what I was doing or I'd been given any advice by a real hairdresser. So everything I do and say in this video should be taken with about a kilogram of salt. So the first thing I did was I used two boxes of Superdrug color remover and that was to strip out as much of the brown box dye as possible. I knew it wasn't gonna do anything to the blue, although I did put it on the blue the first time I did it. Um, just to see if anything would happen. Not really anything happened, but that's that was what I was expecting really. The second time I did the colour remover, I didn't bother dragging it through to the ends, I just put it on where the brown box dye had been. So that is the video that you are about to see next. I used two of these, and that got me from wherever I placed the before shot to this. Now, people who are looking at this who haven't seen any of my videos before, probably thinking, wait what? That colour remover has lightened her roots, it hasn't just removed the colour. I have a lot of premature grey hair. So in the front here what you're seeing is like the colour remover that's stripped brown box dye from a lot of white hairs. Yeah there you go, so you can see my white hairs and then where the colour remover has worked. So they haven't taken them back to white which is to be expected, but if I show you the back <laughs> it'll be more what you're expecting. You can see back of my head where I have less grey hair. It is very uh, orangey brown looking right now. This is what my roots are looking like and this is what the blue is looking like. I've kind of continued with the uh, dandruff shampoo on it just gradually. I haven't really minded it looking like this ever since I stripped the colour out of my hair. My boyfriend's been saying to me all day like why don't you just leave your hair like this for a while it looks cool and he's so sweet. <laughs> it is kind of cool but um, it's not what I want right now so he is going to help me go in with a bleach bath just on the blue section. Now I'm going to be using bleach obviously, developer, shampoo, I guess a little bit of water. I went out and bought this today, Bleach London Plex Bleach. Um, apparently this has some extra stuff in it that makes it less likely to break your hair. This comes with 30% developer, it says here 30% developer. And uh, honestly I'm so impressed that a box bleach has included what developer they have in the kit. I also have some leftover 20 developer. Um, that I did debate using, but because this is still very, very blue, if it was lighter than this, I would be tempted to go in the 20 volume, but I decided to use this with the 30 volume, um, and then I'm just gonna use loads of uh, that anti-dandruff shampoo to dilute it down with. My boyfriend's gonna help me apply it to the back, and then I'm gonna go in with the front. I'm excited. I have to go on a, a call with my friends tonight, so the plan is to just strip out as much of the blue as possible. I don't mind if my friends see me with like gingery hair. <laughs> It's fine. Um, and then tomorrow will be the next step, which I will go over tomorrow. I'm not going to explain it now. Don't waste time. Oh, 
my hair still really smells bad from the colour remover and I hate it. But yeah, I'm feeling really optimistic. <laughs> Let's hope that my hair doesn't all break off. See you soon. Okay, I'm here with a little update. We did the bleach bath last night. We took this box of Bleach London bleach, <laughs> bleach kit. So we took the 100ml of developer that was in here and I mixed in almost equal amount of shampoo. I would say probably like 70 to 80 mil of shampoo. So my intention was to take this from a 30 developer down to like a 15. Um, I thought that would be pretty good at stripping out the blue and it, it did strip out um, a fair amount. It's definitely lighter, like significantly lighter than it was. Whether it's light enough uh, for the semi-permanent red to grow over, we'll find out today. But after I used the bleach kit, my boyfriend helped me apply it. He was an absolute babe such a doll. After we did the bleaching, I washed it out as best I could. Um, I didn't wash it out with shampoo though. I washed it out with conditioner because I didn't want to shampoo my hair immediately afterwards. I know that you're meant to wash it out properly but I, I used conditioner several times to make sure I'd got as much out as possible and then did several conditions and then I dried my hair just with a, a hairdryer. I used loads of heat protectant spray and everything but my hair oh it was very very thirsty it was drier than British humor let me tell you and I was freaking out and then I remembered I bought this and that's when I went back into the shower wet my hair again <laughs> and applied this all over and I left it on for almost two hours I would say almost two hours and um, yeah this stuff was the bomb like I haven't straightened my hair but I did blow dry it and it's feeling much softer um, and it doesn't really feel like it has been bleached believe it or not. Um, my hair has never done that stretchy thing. It gets dry, it gets brittle and it breaks, like I definitely get breakage um, but I've never, I've been lucky enough to never experience the like stringy like stretchy uh, experience that you hear that that some people have. This this is good. I've heard people rave about this and I was just like, yeah, it's just another product. I'm usually very skeptical about whether products actually do much more than, you know, their um, equivalents of different brands. I kind of think they're all the same, but I've never, never had a product that um, made my fit hair feel this good after a bleaching. So, yes. Right, so today we're gonna be doing the red dye. I have boxes of permanent colour which we are essentially going to put on these sections here and I'm going to go back in and do the roots um, and then once we've done that and that's rinsed out and that's see how that looks um, and then we're going to put the semi-permanent red we I'm going to put the semi-permanent red all over including on these sections can't wait to see how it turns out that feels so good. I can't believe I bleached it yesterday. I know it was only a bleach bath, but... <sighs> right, okay. Goodbye. Okay, here we are. My hair is sectioned. The boyfriend is here. This is the mixture, the dye. We've got another box in case we run out and we're just gonna go for it, so. And yes, we're both wearing bin bags. But it's not because we're trash. We're trash. <laughs>
to a modesty. <laughs> or a bit of thigh up for Just a little bit of thigh. That's okay, we love a bit of thigh. Should have been a rugby player. You should have, you've got rugby player thighs, don't you? Rugby player ears as well, though. <laughs> Right, I'm just going to um, do this now, just to try and make sure that we've got literally all the roots. And I'm just going to give it 10 minutes because... Yeah, you probably want to wash the stuff off your face, so now, let me know. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so we're back. I have shampooed my hair and I have dried it because the next step is to go in with Arctic Fox Wrap. I've just realized it's really echoey in here. I'm really sorry, so I'll be quick. Um, anyway, so this says that you have to have washed your hair but not conditioned it and then have it dry. That's how you get the best results with this. I hate drying my hair when I haven't conditioned it. Um, it's not actually, it feels quite soft obviously it looks frizzy and nasty but I'm so happy with how the roots came out I'm really excited to apply this I'm gonna go start doing that now I'm gonna work from the top and go down and work my way down and back oh boy
come out a little bit pinky purple on the ends because of the blue. I think that's going to be quite cool. Right, first section, the most important section, front and my fringe is done. so worried I was gonna run out um, but I think I'm good. I think I've pretty much got it all. Wow. It's so dope. I panicked. I thought it was going really dark. I mean I think it is I think it is still gonna be darker than I was anticipating, possibly darker than the roots. But you know what? It's okay. I'll show you the back. You get to find out before me if I've missed a massive section. That sounds fun. Hello? Yay! That was my boyfriend letting me know that I'd take away the ride. So I'm gonna. What am I gonna do? Scoff on the rest of this hair dye and then go eat some delicious rhubarbs. Oh, we're pretty close to running out. I don't know, look at that. Right. I'm gonna go all out now. saying like oh I miss the pink and I used to hate it when people said that because to me that was like they were saying like oh you were prettier with pink hair and you should only be doing what looks pretty it's like um I don't know damn my hair for nobody but me <laughs> so unless I've asked if you think it looks good I don't really care what you think if you're giving me a compliment, give me a compliment, but don't be like, oh, you were pretty when you used to have pink hair. Right, I'm gonna bag up and go eat some noodles. <laughs> this was the end result 
Um, I have washed my hair once since um, I did all of the colouring and I washed my hair with a co-wash so it's not a product that was going to be particularly stripping to the colour um, and I would say it has not changed too much since I first dyed it. The only thing that really seems to have happened is that um, the ends in particular are much pinker than when I first initially did it and I think that's partly because of the semi-permanent dye that I used and I think it's partly because I had some blue pigment still in my hair. I am very very happy with how this came out. As a very cool toned individual, pinks tend to suit me more so than warm colours so I'm definitely pleased that this didn't come out on the orange end of the red spectrum. The root colour, it's a fair bit closer to a true red than the ends. Now even though I like how this turned out, I think next time I go in with a semi-permanent colour to refresh my hair, I'm probably going to go in with a different dye that is slightly less pink. So even though I like how Wrath turned out, I won't be buying it again. Also, Arctic Fox, um, maybe not the best company that we all thought that they were. I'd recommend checking out Repzilla's uh, video on that. I will link it below if anybody is interested. Tomorrow I have an order coming which contains three tubs of the Manic Panic dye in Vampire Red. And I believe that that red dye is still on the pinker side of red, but it's much going to be much less pink, I hope, than how this turned out. And I'm also going to be using that dye on my existing hair extensions. I don't know if I'll bother filming that, I don't think it'll be a very interesting video. Leave a comment if you think otherwise, but I think I'm just going to go in with that vampire red dye on them and see how they turn out. I still can't decide if I need to strip any more blue out of them before I go ahead with any red dye. Something else that I should probably mention, the uh, permanent red hair dye that I got from Superdrug, I didn't realise until I was putting the colour conditioner on right at the end of the whole process that I saw on the back of the little conditioner that they give you. It says that it's suitable for vegetarians, but it doesn't say that it's also suitable for vegans, which really surprised me because I thought all of Superdrug's own brand products were suitable for vegans. I know that they are always cruelty free, but I was really shocked to see that it wasn't vegan, so that is something that I need to look into. I have two more boxes of this stuff. I'm definitely going to look and see what it is in the product that um, means that they're not vegan and once I find that out I'm going to evaluate how I feel about that and I will either return, if, depending on how I feel, I sort of, I've, I've bought them now, I don't think it really matters, I will probably end up using them. Um, if there's something in them that I really don't agree with, then I will end up taking them back to Superdrug and looking, I'll look for an alternative, but I was really annoyed that I hadn't thought to check that. I just thought that they were all always vegan. If you have any suggestions for hair dyes that you know are cruelty free, vegan and good and like a one stop shop, so like a permanent red dye, then leave it in the comments. I'll be very grateful for that. Also, if you have any suggestions for any other semi-permanent red hair dyes that I can use to keep topping this up, then please let me know. As I said, I much prefer one with more of a pink tint to it than an orange tint, but this is a little more pink than I was anticipating. I still love it though, I still think it looks great. I'm still really pleased that I did it and I've had lots of compliments on it, so. Must be doing something right. If you're still here, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this content, please give this video a like. Consider subscribing if you'd like to see more from me. You can also find the information for my other social medias below if you're interested in following me on any of those. And I will see you in the next one.